All right, we are still in Igwebe, in Igwebe local government area, the do state in Nigeria. And we are still in the palace of His Royal Highness, the Hizoge LJ1 GP, the Okai Gun of His Salad, and also the Onoge of Igwebe Kingdom. He will be hosting the first edition of our international trade fair to be hosted in Igwebe Land Center from the 25th of November to the 30th of November 2024. It is going to be powered by the Onoge, by the Enige. In this and land through the office of the Onuge of Igwebe. But I will have a discussion with His um, Highness and also with the High Chief. But right now we want to have an on two ways with the Igwebe Progressive Union National Chairman, Honorable Asemi Raf Mo. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, let's get a bit of your introduction and your relationship with Igwebe and also his land assistance. Yeah, Bonakuri. To God be the glory, you know. Uh, I am Honorable Asemi Rafmo, the National Chairman of Igwebe Progressive Union. Igwebe Progressive Union is a body set up to work towards the progress and development of this kingdom with a view to enhancing the opportunities of every indigenous so that we will be in the limelight. Thank you. Thank you very much. When we were talking, His Highness um, talked about one or two, but let's talk about assessing Igwebe. Assessing Eastern land, we talked about the railway and all that. How easy is it for vendors to come into Lesana, into Ligwebe to be able to transact business? Okay, you know, generally in the country we have poor road network, but we are favored in this area, especially in the Gwebe Kingdom. When you are moving from here to the east, the roads are not bad. When you move from here through Onichubo to the east, the road are accessible. When you are going to Abuja, we thank God for the good railway network that you can move whatever you have from here through the railway to Itakwe in uh, Adiakuta, where you can from there move onward to Abuja. And we are, when you are moving from here, the equipment to Bini City and then Lagos and all of that, we have a very good road network here. At least the road network we have between here and the Benin is such that in an hour and some few minutes, you are in Benin. So we are favorably disposed and blessed with good road network here. That whatever we want to do that has to do with road network, we are, we are favored. Thank you. All right, let, let's talk about security in the land. Now, at least you are a retired um, admin officer and also part of the vigilante team to make sure that this land equipment is safe and secured for everybody. So for those that are coming to do business, we all know that this land is, is safe for everyone, but I want to hear it from you. Uh, as far as security is concerned, generally it's a problem in the country, but in a two states, the state government is doing everything to ensure the security of lives and property. Alongside with the Edo State Government, the individual towns and communities, especially this Igwebe community, in assistance to the effort of uh, the governor, there are community vigilante individuals and groups that whenever any such a thing is happening, they know what to do. Because a situation whereby all those type of a thing is trying to rear its head here, under a twinkle of an eye, wherever the people are, they will be apprehended. So here is free for transaction. Insecurity is not really a problem because as much as possible, our community, we are security uh, conscious in collaboration with the local government council and the state government. Even the local government council is not doing badly at all. He's totally assisting the police the vigilante and renting whatever assistance that is required to curb insecurity. So we are favored with the state government, with the local government and the efforts of the community in the area of making sure that security is something anybody don't have to have any threat about here. So we are okay. Thank you so much. And I would like to, before I ask my last question, I would like to like have a brief introduction of his executive as well. I think the secretary. Okay. Uh, sitting. No, let me introduce Okay. I'm first of all about the secretary to IPU. I am Honorable Peter Ogun, the auditor to IPU. 
My name is Honorable Walter Sande, Social Secretary, IPO. My name is Akabu Douglas. I'm the Assistant Secretary, IPO. Right, and then with this team of gentlemen here, they will be working hand in hand to make sure this event is a huge success in this land of equipment. All right, um, Chairman, I would still like to ask this last question. All right, you have access to, I learned you are planning the 40th anniversary of His Highness, and then you have access to most of our people in diaspora and all that. Now, what will be your last word for every sons and daughters of this land? Because you see, most of us, we tend to run like I tell every one of us, at the end of it all, we all, we all still have to come back to this land of Esa, to this land called Igwebe, when we all go. You are a retired officer now. You are back home to your place. Why didn't you stay where you are? This place is your own. Yeah. You can't neglect this place. It has to be built. So that when our children are grown, whenever they go to, they will have where to come to. All right, so what will be your last word for every Esa son and daughter? Uh, this time around, I want to say this day is a blessed time for all Isan sons and daughters, especially in the community. And to God be the glory for our royal highness. You can imagine somebody celebrating the 40th year coronation anniversary. Within place. this period, there have been wonders. In his time, great achievements, laudable ones have been made. And if you go into the various communities, you will see developments, structures springing up here and there. And as much as possible, the Highness is such an agile man that is even more active than the military people. He takes farming as another big venture. He encourages those at home and abroad. And in most cases too, he travels outside home, he goes abroad to see his sons and daughters, to tell them that the business of equipment is not business as usual, that things have changed. And because of this, see how our sons and daughters are flourishing, coming home, doing one project or the other, and the time is developing. For me, I we want to say I am proud to be a citizen of this community because since I retired over 13 years ago at my home, you see I'm growing younger now. I'm enjoying everything here. There is food, there is security. The highness has made me proud. The community, they are good people. I'm encouraging our children in the diaspora, come home sometime and let us plan together and make this kingdom a great and decent one in a do state. This is my prayer for everybody. Exactly. Thank you. Let, let me quickly add it. You know when you talk about international trade, I learned that the last trade fair that was held in the Gwebin outside the palace here was some years, a couple of years ago. Most people do not really kill into this angle called trade fair. You understand? So what is your message to the people out there regarding the international trade that is going to be hosted in the Gwebin? Yeah, as far as that is concerned, there is a local at the Uno Gunonu. You see, this street fair is going to be an eye-opener to our people because what we have been producing, that we have been selling in very localized and poor manner, this street fair is going to serve as an eye-opener to our community, our farmers, our producers, that when they come, people come from different parts of the country to engage themselves. And through that mutual interactions, you discover that there will be such enlightenment that we bring a transformation of our former ideas into a new one that will now make Igwebben to be another new place. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Honorable. All right, and we've just been having a discussion with the National Chairman, Igwebben Progressive Union. All right, still in the palace of the Onogil of Igwebben, I remain Franka in the media for Cleveland.com. Please sign, keep signing up with us on www.cleveland.com. Do have a blessed day.